Hi folks, uh, me again with part two on this tutorial on editing the LZC site, LZC site with uh, Netlify CMS. This time I want to um, go into maybe uh, creating a you know new page or, or editing one of the pages and just put you a little bit deeper into uh, the markdown versus the rich text options that you have uh, so that you can get more of, of the formatting that you would like without having uh, to, you know, ask me about everything. So uh, you'll log in. I might already be logged in. Let's see how fast this brings me up. Yeah, pretty fast. Okay. Um, let's just go whole, whole hog and create a new page here. Uh, so pages, uh, new page. All right. Um, a title. Uh, how about... Um, a silly uh, and a description, which is optional, but uh, I'll go ahead and put something in. Uh, just a test. Um, we want to omit the text from the header. Right now, that's said to be true. I'll do it as false just for fun. You'll see the effect. Uh, featured image. Um, let me choose an image. So this would be like the header image. Uh, how about we go with the spiral speak? Okay. Or of course you could upload whatever you like and, and put it in. And now the body. So, um, you know, you have your rich text and you have your markdown. Um, rich text uh, works a little bit like a kind of regular word processor. So you could, uh, uh, you could ask for boldface and be bold. Um, command B again toggles off of that. Um, command I italics. Command I toggles off of that. Um, okay, so there's some text. Um, it's um, you've got some other options here. Um, you can actually do a quote, and I'm really kind of curious to see how that works. Uh, and you can also do a code you probably won't uh, play around much with. Uh, these uh, headings can give you different sized stuff. Uh, so, for example, you can have kind of a um, fairly large, like a heading to um, section. Okay. Uh, and then uh, um, how about uh, uh, heading to again? Uh, another uh, section. Okay. Um, and then, you know, this text, more of it. Um, but maybe, you know, you'd like a, a little subsection, like so you can go with heading three. Okay. And then, uh, you know, more text. Um, now, uh, I just want to show you how this would look in uh, Markdown. And you can see that you know, those second level headers just have two hashtags, a space, and then, you know, the title of the section. Uh, that uh, third level header has three hashtags. And so you could just like go to Markdown and you could just write those things in instead of going to the rich text and, and playing with all these buttons. Um, interested in looking at the, the quotes, I think those are block quotes. So like say you wanted to uh, quote someone. Um, um, a Zen master said, um, quote, uh, and you'll notice the little styling hint here and, and then uh, something, I don't know, what did Zen master say? Um, um, uh, to study the way is to study the self. Um, and uh, how about something like that, okay? Uh, and you probably want to get out of the block text at some point, but it seems to be continuing you on. I wonder if you can click it again. Ah, uh, and we accidentally messed the whole thing up. Uh, how, so what if we just selected our text, then did block? Ah, now we're okay. Um, let's see. Um, uh, try a, a bulleted items or numbered list items. Uh, 
you know, I've had some trouble getting this to work. Uh, let me just give it a bull. Oh, that's how you, you click your bullet and then you say things like uh, get up. Uh, oh, and, and then it just doesn't space right. I just don't like the way that that, that works uh, or doesn't work. So um, my suggestion there is, is oops, uh, get out of. Uh, Get out of the block text, help. Uh, um, oh, there we go. Okay, out of the block text. Um, so these bullet items, a little awkward. Um, they don't seem to work right. Neither do the numbered items. Uh, there may be a tricky way that you work with them that I haven't figured out yet. If you really want a numbered list or a bullet item list, uh, head over to Markdown. And um, to get um, a bullet list, um, bullet list, all you got to do is asterisk space and then your your list item get up new line asterisk space uh new item get coffee asterisk space uh go to job um and and there that'll be a bulleted list let's check yep okay now back to the markdown um how about uh a numbered list um so here you can just do a number and a dot and then you know get up and you don't even have to increase your numbers you can keep it the same if you want it you don't have to keep track of the numbering um, that's that's handy in case you want to like add something in the middle of a list and uh, let's see how that looks in the rich text and sure enough it's a numbered list yay uh, you can even do things like uh, you can do sub lists but you have to write four, you, you, you go to the new place we want the sub list and you do one, two, three, four spaces. And then um, you can do numbered list or bullet list, wherever you like. I'll do a bullet side in a nested bullet list. Uh, strong. Okay, and, and uh, let's see how this is looking in the rich text. Ah, yeah, so we got a nice um, a little nested list. Okay. Um, seeing these these lists uh, continue well. Oh, I guess that's the way to get your numbered list. You just gotta space a couple of times more. But then you gotta then you face the question of how do you get out of them. Uh, Oh, ah, you just have to space again. So I guess there's a way to do it. One, get up. No, I'm not sure how that how that works. So I I prefer to go with markdown. Um, let's see other things that might be of interest to you. Um, is um, we've already gone over figures, but uh, you can also do like YouTube videos. You could embed a YouTube video, um, which you might want to do, like if people had a nice social event at a retreat and you videoed a couple of minutes of it and stuck it on YouTube. So uh, let me just uh, like pull up a like a YouTube. Um, hmm. uh, let me get on my channel. And um, oh, here's this uh, recent tutorial. And uh, what you do is you go up to the URL and right after the question mark V equals, there's what was called the ID of the video. And so I'm going to just copy that ID and uh, head back here. And uh, let's see, here is a video. And go push uh, YouTube. And all we got to do is stick, 
paste in that ID and that's going to be it. So, um, to see how it's shaping up, of course, you can do the preview, um, and get some sense, but the preview is not going to be perfect. Uh, it, it doesn't process everything. And so it doesn't get the embed correct. Um, but you already know that you could, um, go ahead and, uh, save your changes. So let's, uh, save. And then wait, uh, for the chance to, to look at a preview of the website itself. So in a few seconds, we'll see it. We can check for a preview and, um, it does take a bit to build. Depends on the time of day I found, uh, as little as 15 seconds, uh, but often, uh, more than 20 seconds. And some days they just, uh, they're too busy for you. Try again. Ah, now we can see our view, our preview. Okay. And so we got our deploy preview at a number in front of the regular URL. How do I get to that page? It's not on the menu and you're not going to be able to put that on a menu when you create a new page through this CMS, at least not until I configure that for you, but I kind of don't want to might put you through too much trouble, but you can still do a forward slash and then the name of your, the title of your page. And if it was like more than one word, remember to separate them by hyphens. So I just put silly here, which is the title of that page and uh, here's silly. So we got our nice header and, um, um, our work and, and it's sort of like everything kind of looks okay, except that I did want like the name of the page and the description across this, this header. And that just doesn't seem to be happening. So, um, what do I do about that? Well, um, let me go back to the content manager and, um, Oh, I've got omit text from the header set to true. Well, let's set it to false, save. And uh, let's uh, head back and, and, you know, again, it may take another 15 or 20 seconds, but if we just uh, refresh and you know, keep on refreshing, eventually we'll, we'll pick up uh, a version once the site is, is once the new pre deploy is, is built. There it is. And so like, maybe that it looks better to us. And, and then, uh, it, you know, if we're ready, uh, it all depends on what the, you know, the workflow is. Let's see, changes are saved. Let's head to the workflow. Uh, right now, this is just in draft stage, huh? Um, but, um, you can set the status, uh, to be in review. If you need somebody else to check and see if it's really okay, you can set it to ready if um it's all okay in terms of content but you need maybe me to do some extra styling or detailing uh and if you're ready to publish then you just set it to ready and then you uh would press publish and uh walk through any warnings that it gives you and, and it will go live on the website again because this is just a tutorial i'm going to delete this unpublished entry uh and uh, go ahead and log out and remember log out once log out twice and that's it